All right, Moats, I picked the topic Tuesday. One Mo thing is back after a brief hiatus, Linz. It is. Why does Mike Wallace work in Cincinnati? Uh, Mike Wallace would work in Cincinnati because, for my money, he is the best potentially available wide receiver. And it's a good year for free agent wideouts. Uh, Robert Meacham would make sense. He's great in the, in the red zone. Mario Manningham might be ready to break out. Has never played 16 games in a season. Maybe that's a concern. But you know what? I think of Mike Wallace, and I think of the possibilities in this offense, and I think of what, what they could do downfield with him and A.J. Green and the benefits to players like Jermaine Gresham and Jordan Shipley. You, you kind of salivate. He makes sense because of what he would do to the Pittsburgh Steelers. You would still have to give him a first-round draft choice. But you know what? If you would have told me last uh, last fall that the Bengals would trade Carson Palmer, get a second-round draft choice in 2013, and Mike Wallace, I would have taken that. Plus, they move up four, four spots in the draft. But you know what? As much as anything, I think that would be the move that would create the most excitement. And I know that might not be as important as schematics and X's and O's and production, but can you imagine the billboard? Andy Dalton, A.J. Green, Mike Wallace. I can. I think it would sell tickets. And last I checked, this team needs to sell some tickets. Okay, why are people mad that Dusty Baker already announced Johnny Quaid will be on the hill for opening day? Yeah, D Dusty Baker could have announced that uh, on opening day I'm going to give away free tickets and people would have gotten mad. Look, Johnny Cueto was the obvious decision. He was the obvious call to start on opening day. Matt Latos has not been here before. The, the honor should go to somebody who has been here. Uh, Bronson Arroyo has been here, has never wanted the assignment, and is coming off a terrible season. And look, Homer Bailey and Mike Leake are both probably going to make the team and make the rotation, but they haven't earned it yet. Johnny Cueto has, is the opening day starter, and should be the opening day starter. Crosstown shootout will be played next season. This isn't surprising, right? Well, indications are it's going to be played next season, which is a really good thing. Um, I, I would say the thing that I like most is that the coaches weren't quoted in the Cincinnati.com story about the future of the Crosstown shootout. This decision should be made at the athletic director slash president level. It should be up to Whit Babcock, Mike Babinski, uh, Greg Williams, and uh, Father Graham at Xavier University. And, and, I, and I think you have to put a decision like this in the hands of people who have big picture, long-term views beyond basketball and understand what the game means beyond just to those who play it. Uh, I'm encouraged by the fact that it looks like it's going to be played. I'm encouraged by the fact that it looks like if it is played, it's going to be played on campus. But what I like where we are in this process is that right now the people who are being quoted are not coaches. All right, last question. Yeah. What are the chances Tony LaRusso will be in Cincinnati next year? Uh, you know, I hope it happens just so we can all, myself included, change everything we've said about Tony LaRusso. It's kind of like Rick Pitino coaching Louisville. It's kind of like my I, one of my best friends uh, hates John, hated John Calipari until he took over at the University of Kentucky, and now he's the biggest John Calipari supporter. It's like those who hated Bill Cower but would take him as Bengals head coach, and I would take Tony La Russa as Reds manager. I'm going to kind of give Dusty Baker a chance this year. Uh, I, I, I hope it happens at some point just so we can start to defend. It would be funny to spend three hours on the radio every day defending Tony La Russa whining, wouldn't it? I think so. Want me to do a little dance? <laughs> Email me, mo at ESPN1530.com. <laughs> Send me a tweet, at moegger1530, and check out our radio show on Wednesday afternoon at 3.04 on ESPN 1530.